Dizzy did that. Dizzy did that. And we'll click A there. Yo! Nah. Um, a whole Lamborghini? Nice. Ah, oh, funny because it's Gallardo, and that's what he was talking about in his, uh, can you believe they actually make money from music? I'm telling you, when you know the right people, bro, you can make money off of playing with snow. And I ain't talking about coke. I'm talking about literally snow. <laughs> it's funny because I know for a fact my really bro is not lying. Uh, hey, what's up, y'all? <laughs> Dizzy Day here. Rocking out, which I, I had to remember that I'm recording myself. I had to try to compose myself, you know, acting and whatnot. Like, yo, I, I love doing these kind of videos because it's just like, I, I can't work at the offices. I got to act and whatnot. If, if you don't like this, or rather, if you, if you don't act like this, then you, you just can't have a job. If you don't talk like this, if you, if you don't kind of embody this kind of mindset or personality, listen, you, you, you just can't work for us. You know what I mean? And like, I think about working for people and I'm like, listen, I'm tired of working for people. Working for people is trash. Working with people is where it's at, period. And so when it comes to YouTube videos, I feel like we're working with people. Why? It's literally gameplay videos. <laughs> You know what I mean? Gameplay videos. Like we got 785 subscribers at this very moment. Once you reach like a thousand subscribers, then guess what, ladies and gentlemen? You can start getting paid for your gameplay videos. Talk about getting played or rather getting paid to play. Oh my goodness gracious. Like when I'm around others, like all I feel is like conformity to a degree i feel like this pressure and usually it's not from others sometimes most of the times it is but pressure to conform pressure to not be myself oh if i curse then i get a frown oh if i don't curse then i get a frown oh if i cut my hair a certain way then i get a smile or a frown oh you know what i mean you know what i'm talking about y'all so let's rock out let's step up them subscriber views <laughs> i ain't gonna lie that's something someone else would say on their videos but listen let's just rock out like i didn't really get on this video with a snap out or anything like ah oh, like that oh snizzy snap snap i wasn't expecting them to hit us in our backpack that's why i love these video game plays because it's video game play like the word play is literally oh they just knocking us out the water over here all right fourth place but yo let's just rock out so what is it tuesday Yo, let me tell you a story. 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 So I was rocking out, right? Office space, right? Talking with my supervisor. Psych. You know, due to COVID, working from home. So I sent my supervisor and a director at our office an email. I got to send them daily emails like, hey, let's have a terrific Tuesday. And so Monday, magnificent Monday. Tuesday, terrific Tuesday. But this specific time, I was like, yo. Of course, I didn't say yo, but I was like, Hola, this is what I sent in the email. I said, Hola, let's have a terrific Tuesday and not a terrible Tuesday. Sure enough, the supervisor emailed me back, straight up called me like, listen, Dante, you, you, you can't put that kind of stuff in the email. And I'm like, what's wrong with saying let's have a terrific Tuesday and not a terrible Tuesday? Like, literally, there's nothing wrong with that. But, you know, I didn't say that at all. Right. I was like, sure. No problem. You know, what I mean, that's that's a whole ideology right there. Y'all. No problemism. You know what I mean? They give you problems even though you know you're right. No problem. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. No problem. You know what I mean? Because at the moment, we need their jobs, right? Like work for them when you have to. Break free because you got to, right? And so, yeah, that's where I'm at. And no problemism is bigger than, oh, a nine to five or something like that. No problemism goes deeper on a spiritual level. You know what I mean? Oh, your, your second floor tenant or the second floor tenant is giving you problems? No problem. Like, let me let me problem solve without being an animal or something along those lines. Like, we all are on this planet, right? Therefore, we could all be animals if we wanted to. And so when people are stooping to, like, lows, we got to make sure we just go to the higher decisions, positive higher decisions. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why when I'm around people, I usually just rap and sing. Like, literally, I lie to you not. Y'all will probably never encounter me talking like this when I'm around y'all. Why? Because y'all could say something, you know, fly or quote unquote fly. And I'll be ready to, like, explain why things work the way they do. Like, 
you could say, yo, the squirrels are made out of popcorn. And I'd be like, really? But like, you know, that immediate response wouldn't come from me because I'm used to the what ism. You ever say something intelligent and somebody say something like, what? Like another story. Uh, second floor tenant. Funny because we were just talking about them. Um, yeah. Came to the door and, you know, knocking, knocking, knocking like certain cops would. And I'm like, how can I help you, sir? Like, can I help you? Why? Can I help you, sir? Why? And I was like, you know, I, I got to go. I got to get to my positive goals, child. You know what I mean? As opposed to feet and then, or feet and on rather, to the animalism, we were like, peace out. All right. And, you know, speaking of peace outs, right? We at the end of this race, going to go ahead and say, child, wait. But what's the takeaway? Make lemonade out of lemons. A peace out. Is.